Dresden, April 13th, 1789, at seven o'clock in the morning. Dearest, most beloved little wife, we expected to reach Dresden after dinner on Saturday, but we did not arrive until yesterday, Sunday, at two o'clock in the afternoon, as the roads were so bad. Dearest little wife, oh, if only I had a letter from you. If I were to tell you all the things I do with your dear portrait, I think that you would often laugh. <laughs> For instance, when I take it out of its case, I say, Good day, Stanzel. <laughs> Good day, little rascal, pussy pussy, little turned up nose, little bagatelle, schluck and drug. <laughs> and when I put it away again, I let it slip in very slowly, saying all the time, no, 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 with the peculiar emphasis which this word so full of meaning demands. And then just at the last, very quickly, Good night, little mouse, sleep well. Well, I suppose I have been writing something very foolish to the world at all events, but to us who love each other so dearly, it is not foolish at all. Today is the sixth day since I left you, and by heaven, it seems a year. I expect you will have some difficulty here and there in reading my letter, because I am writing in a hurry, and therefore rather badly. Adieu, my only love. The carriage is waiting. This time I do not say, hurrah, the carriage has come at last, but damn carriage. <laughs> Farewell. And love me forever as I love you. I kiss you a million times most lovingly, and I am forever your husband who loves you tenderly. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. P.S. P.S. Remember, you must not regulate the length of your letters by that of mine. Mine are rather short, but only because I am in a hurry. If I were not in a hurry, I would cover a whole sheet, but you have more leisure. Adieu. <laughs>